For best practice information, essential tips, tricks, and hacks on SAP security, GRC, and audit, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time we post a new video twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. Security in SAP and GRC refers to all the processes, strategies, and technologies brought together or deployed to ensure the protection uh, of assets of the organization, whether at rest or in motion. There are various other de definitions, but just to make it simple. In discussing this, the, co the topic for today's video is SAP Security and GRC back to basics. GRC is an acronym for Governance, Risk and Compliance. SAP Security, I defined earlier on. GRC is the acronym that describes all bringing in a reliable manner together all the capabilities of the organization towards reliably achieving the goals and objectives of an organization while focusing on risks and acting with integrity. In doing this, as we all know, everything has to do with cost. Security and controls also have cost implications. There is a triad that we're all familiar with. That's CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality actually talks to the level of protection that is assigned to a class or group of data or information in an organization, of course, is about cost benefits. Integrity refers to integrity of processing within the systems that we have deployed for the organization to support our operations and guarantee the performance of various tasks in the organization in a manner that will keep the data and the information safe and reliable. We have availability. Availability actually is about making sure that data, information, and even the systems that produces them are available when and where we need them and in the form that we need them. That's one. Secondly, I will also talk to classification of security. We talk about organizational security, which is the various levels through which security is exercised in assuring us that the data and information and files and records that we keep are secured. Physical security refers to the physical controls we have put in place, starting from the security at the gate to security devices that we have installed at the entrances or exits of the organizational uh, building. The last is the technical security, which also talks to the security we have in place at the applications level, at the operating system level, at the network level, and across all the various systems and servers that we have within the organization. Number three, we talk to layers of security that we have also in discussing security, starting from granting people access to the system that drives the operations of the organization. That is what we call the authentication. Identifying and authenticating who is to gain access based on certain things that we have or the information that we know. Authorization refers to the access we grant to people based on the need for them to do or the need to know of certain details within the records of the organizational operation and what we do and how we should grant people access, either to be able to process certain activities, to approve or to generate reports. Integrity is about the reliability of processing and generation of files and how, how the files are kept or are transitioned from one form or system to the other. And privacy is about the files, the information that we have that are governed by certain regulatory uh, requirements that must be maintained. And obligation is more or less the core of security. The, it is the, 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 the privileges that we have in the system by which we control certain areas of the processes and functions and data and files of the organization is the highest level and is usually the target of hackers. So as we discuss SAP security and GRC, we're also discussing the challenges and the threats 
that an organization has to manage usually from within the organization which we call the internal and from without which we call the external and having knowledge of all these vulnerabilities will help one to determine to what extent and effort and processes and technology should we go in deploying all these information protection strategies that will help keep the organization safe either from its own staff or i mean people that have legitimate that were given legitimate access to the records and files of the organization and those that were not even given who are outsiders to the organization but uses various methods including social engineering to get into the organization and gain inappropriate access to the files and records of the organization so in the context of sap grc and the models of the GRC suits, SAP has a number of models within the suit of solutions, which I will call a bundle that we call GRC. We have access controls. Access controls manages who has access and who should not have access within the organization. What access they will have and what controls should we put in place to ensure that access is given only to the right people at the right time based on their job description, on the need for them to perform those job descriptions and the need for them to know either for oversight or for decision making. There are various submodules that we have within the access control solution that analyzes risk and ensure that activities that are, that are incompatible are not given to a particular employee so as to keep the assets of the organization safe, prevent leakages, and then prevent abuse of those privileges in the system. Since it is possible for people who have access within the organization inappropriately using the, those privileges for personal benefits or gains. At RSL Consulting, we specialize in SAP security, GRC, and audit. We take professionals from zero to expert levels. We also offer services to organizations and assist with their transformational initiatives. In the description below, you will find links to our free guides for your download. Please click to download. We have the process control. Process controls actually is about managing transactions and activities within the SAP system. And that is where we have the various tools that manages control, that test control, that evaluates control, and report on those controls, whether manual or in an automated manner, to ensure that risks within the processes are better managed. We also have what we call the risk management solution. Risk management solution, as we all know, risk is about anticipation. It is about estimation. It's a, it is about working with the unknown and trying to estimate what the impact of the occurrence of that unknown will have on our operations and the assets that we value so that we can anticipate the occurrence of such and be able to better manage them. There are various tools that we have within the risk management solution. We have the audit management, which simplifies the performance of audits either from the internal control end or from the external control uh, responsibilities, that's external audit. It simplifies the provision of documents and information, the check that are performed, and documentations that are required for us to provide evidence that will support whatever conclusions we have from the performance of audit. We also have business integrity screening, which we which was formerly called fraud management. This business integrity business integrity solution manages various transactions to ensure that leakages are prevented, that rules that have been put in place in relation to every transaction is enforced and alerts are generated whenever violations occur that could possibly cause a damage or loss to the value assets of the organization. This actually sits on top of the big data solution of SAP, just like others. We also have the enterprise threat detection. Enterprise threat detection solution is that solution that manages threats to the organization. Detection still becomes the key. Because 
when you detect, you can act swiftly in a proactive manner to prevent damage from occurring to the assets of the organization. So enterprise threat detection is that solution that tracks activities, records, even transactions that are executed, not just on the application stack, but also at the infrastructure stack. Unlike other solutions that we have in the market that analyzes logs, it's do it, our enterprise threat detection goes beyond log analysis to provide real-time enriched information that could generate immediate action to put a stop to a compromise even before serious damages are, co are caused to the valued uh, files and information of the organization. Please feel free to leave some comments, connect with us by clicking the subscribe button so that the next time we post videos like this, you'll be notified and take advantage of the post. And if you think we have done well with the value, please give us a thumbs up. We offer value continuously and we're always available to provide support. Hope to see you in the next video.